All right, Brenda, the team hopes to get to Grand Bahamas, which has been devastated. And then once they get a good look at actual conditions on the ground, that will determine how long Mercy Corps aid workers will stay put. It could be weeks. The International Red Cross says nearly every person on the island of Abaco and Grand Bahama needs some form of humanitarian assistance. We know that we will see issues with potable water, um, with food, with basic household items, power outages. So this is typically what we find in, in hurricanes. Corps will be bringing a few things along to make sure the team is totally self-sufficient on the islands. That includes solar power, food, and also filters to make the water safe. And by the way, American Medical Response has some local workers going as well. They're going to be helping FEMA with the disaster response. Brenda? They sure are heroes. Tim, thank you.